let's bring up our next storyteller. Big round of applause for Claudia. Hey, so um, I kind of think that most times when we go out drinking and drink way too much, it's sort of like two scenarios for the most part. And once you just you're just having a great night and things get out of hand and before you know it, you're wasting on a dancing on a table. Um, or there's those other nights where you, you want to drink. You earned that drink. You deserve that drink. And that's sometimes when weird things happen. Um, and so I had just gone through, I had lost out on a big job opportunity and I'd sort of been dating a douche. And um, <laughs> you understand. And uh, so it had sort of like was that like perfect storm of like, I'm going out to drink. Simultaneously, I had two sort of relative strangers from England staying on my couch. Um, okay, if you go overseas and you're at bars, do not go, totally, if you come to LA, you can crash in my place. Because there's Facebook and they will. <laughs> So trying to be a good host and wanting some booze, I took them where you would, Barney's Beanery, people. I know, I know, because way to, I just need them to understand, of course, they're always going to be more classy than us, because I take them to a place with 40 beers on tap, karaoke, and license plates on the ceiling. So that was the mode. And beer led to liquor, and liquor led to shots. And they made a junior mint shot that night. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> It's a shot based on movie candy. <laughs> Holy crap, I had w many. <laughs> many. So as um, the night wore on and everybody's drunk and you know, a friend drove us home and the next morning, rightfully so, I'm horrifically hungover, but still trying to be a host. So I called my friend and she said, let's all go to brunch, because that's what we do in LA. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll drive you to your car afterwards, you'll eat, it'll be fine. And I'm like, okay. So we go to Silver Lake and I'm, I stuff my face full of chilaquiles, trying to like push down all that like shame and you know, the drunk guilt. <laughs> I'm like, who did I give my number to? And oh, these British people think I'm crazy. And um, so my friend is like, I'll drive you to your car. So we're in Silver Lake, we gotta get to West Hollywood. And um, we're driving down and we're driving on Hollywood and I'm not feeling too great. And the motion of the car, and we've gotten to that part of Hollywood Boulevard where, um, where Scientology kind of like, wah -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> and it's everywhere, right? Like there's a big building, there's another building, and there's all their worker bees, and they kind of look like, <laughs> they do, God love them, you know, to each his own, but they look a little bit like they really are into American Airlines circa 1980. <laughs> And my, I'm noticing this because my head is out the window like a dog, hoping that fresh air is going to, like, get me to my car. And I realize that it's not. And um, I, I have a friend, I'm like, you've got to pull the car over. I'm going to be sick. You've got to pull the car over. And so we, we, we er, and uh, it's like Hollywood and Ivar around that place. And, and I'm sorry, but I violently puke on the street. And I open it up. Sorry to take us there. Um, so... But I looked up and people were looking at me with such disgust. I was the most disgusting person on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Homeless people were like, ooh. <laughs> and I was sitting there like wretchedly being this pathetic version of myself that I already started off last night, not real happy with my life. And as I'm sitting there, as my nature, I go, I can write this ship. I'll make this seem like I'm meant to do it. <laughs> and as I sat there, I was done, and I raised up my fist and I said, take that, Scientology! <laughs> And then I slammed the door and I'm like, go! But it was a red light, so we just like went, mm. <laughs> And everybody in the car is like, what is that? And I was like, I don't know. 
But if all those drinks and a crazy place in my life or feeling crappy about my life, uh, I felt way better. I felt better physically. I felt better emotionally. And who knew when I'm like really hungover, I make a political statement about a culty religion. So that's it. Thank you guys.